My name is Cheryl Knowlton, CSP, and I am the CEO and Chief Energy Officer of Dynamite Productions. I decided to embark on a journey of self-discovery and ultimately to become a speaking coach when I ran into some really interesting challenges early in my life. Adopted at birth, and then my beautiful angel mother passed away shortly before my fifth birthday. My dad, bless his heart, was undone by all of it, and not knowing where to turn, he turned to quick and speedy dating, and lots of it. And he married a woman that, bless her heart, didn't announce until after the nuptials that she absolutely detested children. And that changed my life. It, it threw me into a tailspin of uncertainty. And as, as charming and as cute as I had been in my life leading up to this with my perfect nuclear family, nothing I did was good enough for her. And she didn't like me no matter what I did. And I tried so hard to get her to love me that I started wearing the mask of becoming a people pleaser. And, and I found 40 years later that that actually didn't work. <laughs> so helping p others to figure out that journey, hijack that journey a whole lot sooner so that they can not make the mistakes that I made lights me up and makes me very happy. My journey has been so interesting and a little bit of a roller coaster. Most people's in life are, but when a lot of people hear my story, um, they think, oh my gosh, how are you not in a ditch somewhere? <laughs> um, but ultimately, I, I found that choosing to find the bright side in life and positivity made challenges a whole lot better. Um, and trying to understand my personality, so finding out that I was adopted wasn't nearly as hard as my journey with my stepmother and, and trying to, to get her to, to like me or even look at me. And uh, that, was, that was an interesting thing. And years later, having found my birth family, having that fun conversation of where did my personality actually come from? Did it come from my birth family? Did it come from my nuclear family? You, did, where did it did it, where did it come from? And ultimately, um, that led me to an amazing discovery of something called the Enneagram and learning that most of us, science tells us that most of us established our personality by the time we were seven years old. And so when I think of all the things, the highs and lows that happened to me prior to seven, what masks did I put on in order to be able to cope with all that was coming at me and who did I decide to become in order to try to survive in a very uncertain world. When my beautiful angel mother passed away, my dad's coworker told him that it would be a great idea for him to take me to Disneyland for the first time when I was five years old, that it would be a place of healing for both of us. And so dad thought that was a good idea and off we went. And while I have no memory of that actual trip, Dad and I went every three years together after that, and I, I felt different when I was there. And Walt Disney, most of us know and think that he was one of the greatest storytellers of, of our lifetimes. And Disneyland became such a magical place for me where I, I felt like I needed to go there in order to feel magical. And it took me a long time to figure out the magic was in me, and I was bringing the magic to everything in my life, instead of looking for it outside of myself, you're welcome. That took me 50 years to figure that out. Uh, but um, Cinderella, um, some loving family member took me to see Cinderella when I was eight. And so my wicked stepmother had been in my life for a couple of years by that point in time. I'd already figured out no matter what I do, she's not going to like me. And I thought, oh my stars, I feel so seen and so understood by Walt Disney. I had never met him. No, unbeknownst to me, he had passed away before I was born. He created this wicked stepmother character. And while I'm still waiting for singing mice to come and sew my clothes and do all of my household chores for me, I love the way that she approached all of the horrible things that happened to her with her wicked stepmother and the, and the wicked stepsisters and the evil cat, Lucifer. She approached all of it with so much positivity. She created her own happily ever after. I love working that out in my own life and helping others to realize no matter how dark it is today, your happily ever after is coming. I think most of us at some point in our lives, personally, professionally, probably both, definitely both for me, have found ourselves muting ourselves, pushing, pushing mute um, at some point, not speaking up for ourselves, not speaking our truth. 
um, I remember doing that professionally. I was new at work and I, I had what I thought was a really good idea and I didn't raise my hand because I was comparing myself to everybody else and what if, what if she doesn't like it? What if he judges me? And I what if myself to death um, and, and I never spoke up. Um, part of what my mission is to help others to unmute themselves so that they can deliver those command performances. We can't do that. We can't speak confidently on any stage or any high stakes meeting or environment if we don't first unmute ourselves. We live in a, in a day and age of Zoom. And how many times do we have to remind people, unmute yourself? And, and I, I finally decided how much are people muting themselves? How much am I still muting myself in situations? So just creating awareness around it is the first step. Um, and then just practicing and practice raising your hand. So what if it's not perfect? So what if somebody laughs? Speaking our, our truth and speaking up for what we know to be true and believe to be true is, is the first step to permanently unmuting. And where science tells us that children usually, the human brain usually develops a personality by the age of seven, a lot of us to cope with a situation, whether in childhood or adolescence or early adulthood or late adulthood or all of the above, we put on different masks in different situations with different people in order to hide who we truly are and try to be who we think other people need us to be in that situation. Definitely have done that many, many times. Through my journey of not only finding my birth family and then meeting them and having my birth mother say, I don't understand who you are because I hate public speaking. And the first time I did it, I passed out, hit my head on the desk and I've never done it since versus my birth father who was in a rock band. And he's like, yep, every single characteristic and quality that makes you money and makes you who you are came from me. And he credits it all to him. It's not all DNA, and a lot of it comes down to those masks. And so having gone through um, every personality assessment from MBTI to you know all of them, there are five that I absolutely love that I use in my work in coaching um, individuals to find uh, their authentic self and unmute themselves. And in order that I found them and got certified in, in three, they are Fascinate, um, started by Sally Hogshead, um, an absolutely amazing book called How the World Sees You. Um, then came the Enneagram. A lot of people are familiar with it, some people are not, um, but that, that work has absolutely changed my life completely and helped me recognize not only my masks, but my blind spots. Um, and I'm still, uh, we're all on a journey of self-discovery every day of our lives. And it's, it's so fun to peel back the layers. I'm not a big fan of onions, so we'll call it chocolate cake. Yeah, the, the layers that, that make up who we are. And sometimes trying to figure out why we do what we do and why we don't do what we, we're like, why did I do that? Who was that? Looking in the mirror, not even recognizing who that person is. So fascinate, Enneagram, then came ProScan. Um, the ProScan is uh, an absolutely incredible tool that, that showed me my weaknesses in ways that I did not intend. So with all the masks, sometimes we don't even, we try to trick the test. We're like, yeah, I want the result I want to get. I want to be that, comparing ourselves to someone else, which comparison is the thief of joy. Um, ProScan is incredible, and I'm so excited to have been certified in that to help business leaders very quickly identify the challenges that are preventing them from having their team come together cohesively. Then comes Strengths Finder. I absolutely love Strengths Finder, and redoing that every couple of years allows me to see how I'm changing over time. One of my coaching clients said to me, oh, I did that 10 years ago. I'm like, nope, Dan, you get to do it again. Because we, thank heaven, we change over time and we become new people. Um, and yeah, more often than every 10 years. Last but not least, my coach introduced me to something called Wealth Dynamics. And learning about Wealth Dynamics has been a fascinating and fabulous journey. And I take my coaching clients on a journey with all of it so that they can have all those beautiful puzzle pieces of themselves come together to help them get a true picture of who they really are. The best way for people to reach out to me is for us to have a discovery call together so that I can hear more about your story and exactly how I can help you unmute yourself and take those command performances and slay every single stage you want to slay. Um, you can do that by going to www.clarity with Cheryl with a C, C H E R Y L.com.